Hey friends, thanks for tuning in today. I want to show you what I did for my cell phone personally. I made a little Faraday bag for it. And the reason I had to do this is because my phone started to spontaneously turn itself on. Now some people will say it's being remotely turned on and that's quite possible. So I had to figure out a solution, but I also didn't want to spend any money. Now, personally, I have Reflectix tape around here because I use it for everything. It's wonderful if I, uh, for example, get a piece of electronic equipment that has some rubber pads on it that I didn't ask the manufacturer about as to latex content. So I can just uh, throw a little piece of Reflectix tape, foil tape on there and that acts as a vapor barrier and I don't have to worry about uh, having an allergic reaction to it. Another purpose that I use Reflectix tape for is to block any plastics that are off-gassing and causing me issues. Don't have a whole lot of plastic here, um, but we do have some. So that's another purpose that I use it for. I um, also used it on the countertops. That is not recommended. Don't do that. <laughs> They're just temporary uh, wood countertops. And I was very, very, very careful with them. So the the process of making your own little Faraday, um, I guess, depository, whatever you want to call it here, is really simple. I just took pieces of cardboard and I uh, measured around my phone first and then I cut out pieces of cardboard, um, one for each side here. And I didn't even use a ruler or anything. It was really just a slap job. I needed to get something done real quick. Then I wrapped the pieces of cardboard with aluminum foil, and then I taped them together with the Reflectix tape um, to make sure that all of the edges were sealed here. As you can see, they're all sealed. And that was about it. I also have a flap on the top that I keep taped because I don't want anything getting in there. And I do check it frequently. And ever since I put it in here, and it's been months since I put it in here, it is not turned on once ever since. And I also made a little bag for it um, so I can carry it around on the property with me, just in case. Seamstress says you're gonna get a kick out of what I did here. Now I just used my little box, my Faraday box here as a pattern and I didn't really do a very good job of cutting out the fabric. Like I said, I just wanted to do something quick and simple and easy. And I don't have a sewing machine so because I can't use it due to the EMFs. So I um, sewed myself by hand a little pouch here. And look what I did. I sewed the two panels that are for the side directly together. Aren't I awesome? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so funny. Oh wow. Okay, so this little pouch works perfectly. And then I just um, had some yarn that I tolerate that I braided together um, to use. And you know, just use what you got, use what you have. And it works phenomenally well. I even have um, this tied up here so that I can have it longer if I need it to be longer. And I could tie it off so it's shorter if need be as well. So not only do I have a handy dandy little bag to carry with me, I also have my cell phone with me and my cell phone is not being remotely turned on or accidentally turned on by being pressed while it's being carried around. So hopefully this um, might give you a little bit of an idea as to some of the things that you can do to um, you know, help tolerate keeping your emergency cell phone around and accessible to you without causing you harm if you are sensitive to EMFs like I am. Whether it's electromagnetic hypersensitivity, also known as EHS, or if it's mass cell activation syndrome, MCAS. I have both. It's a party here. <laughs> All right. Thanks for checking it out, checking the video out. Like, subscribe, share with like-minded friends, and I hope you have a beautiful day.